Lillard, he got the shot off. Lillard, good! Good! And the Blazers win the series for the first time in 14 years! Basketball. A fast-paced, physically demanding sport that keeps audiences around the world on the edge of their seats. When it comes to professional basketball, most people think of players such as Michael Jordan, Kobe Bryant, Larry Bird, and LeBron James for their ability to put lots of points on the scoreboard. But basketball is a team sport. All five positions on a team are responsible for the outcome of a game. The best player may sink the most shots, but the most pivotal player on the team controls the tempo of the game, communicates effectively on the court, and most importantly, utilizes the individual strengths of his or her teammates to create scoring opportunities. This skill set defines the position of the point guard. Point guard is, uh, you know, the guy that's responsible for running his team. You know, I think it's... Uh, it's a really difficult sport to play without a point guard, you know, because I think everyone has individual responsibilities, but very few positions or roles on the court have the responsibility of everyone. A point guard is, uh, is a key component of any successful team. You know, you look at some of the most successful teams in the, in the history or in the country that win at the highest level, and all of them have elite point guards that are distributing it and scoring and running the show as a coach would want um, at a very high level. Controlling the tempo of a game involves both slowing down and accelerating the momentum of the team when in possession of the ball. Either strategy can be implemented, but certain situations will force the point guard to use one or the other during the game. Slowing the game down and speeding the game up is controlling the tempo. You have to know when it's, um, how much time is on the clock, the shot clock, whether it's 30 seconds or it's nine seconds. You have to take good shots within those possessions too for it to be counted as a, a good possession. So it's controlling the game. My philosophy is you need to give the, the point guard a lot of freedom and a lot of uh, ability to make decisions and be creative. Um, we like to play an up-tempo style of basketball where we're running, we're pushing the basketball, and, and you've got to be able to trust the point guard to not turn the ball over and make good decisions. The fast break is a scoring opportunity in which the ball on defense is turned over and in most cases given to the point guard to move up court as quickly as possible for a potential basket. Why the point guard? Because speed superior ball handling, and court vision are all necessary to accomplish this task. In the fast break, you want to get the ball to the point guard. Um, point guards have the ability to push up the floor. They're our best ball handlers. They, they're our best decision makers. Um, that's, it's really just a point guard's specialties to, to run the fast break. I think fast breaks are incredibly advantageous. I mean, any time you get a defense in transition, you might have a numbers advantage. Um, you know, opportunities arise for easy baskets, but also um, a defense that's in transition has a really hard time setting up. So it's really hard to help and to rotate um, or to be organized. So transition opportunities can kill uh, a team's defense. Communicating effectively is essential for anyone in a leadership position. Every individual on the court should be talking, but in order for a team to function properly, one player must be heard over all the rest. The point guard needs to be able to delegate and give responsibilities to his teammates and make sure he's know, it's clear on what he's expecting to be even more clear on the, on the expectations and communication end. I think that's absolutely vital to any team success. Communication can be huge, I think, for a team in general, but for a point guard who's kind of responsible in some ways and is part psychologist for his team, has to understand where the team is at, the state of the team, the state of the psychology of its individuals, um, you know, what they've gone through this season. You know, those type of things, I think a point guard has to constantly weigh up and be able to steer the ship in an advantageous position, not only with certain individuals, but as a group. When the team's best scorer is shut off by the defense, the team must then rely on the individual strengths of its players. The point guard knows these strengths and uses them in a coordinated manner to create an entity much stronger than a single player, an efficient team. I think it's pretty dangerous to piggyback off one player. I mean, it's a team sport. So if you're gonna rely heavily on one player, uh, you leave a lot of risk or, or things to chance. Um, 
You know, I think that obviously 90% of teams have a best player that you're going to lean on, but they have to be supported. So how does the point guard bring all the pieces of the puzzle together? Effective passing is one of the ways. Shooting and driving to the basket is good for a point guard to have, but the most vital asset is passing because they have to give the most dominant player the ball where he or she is comfortable on the floor, whether it be in a post or on a wing. Normally the point guard usually assists me when I score. Um, I'm usually in the, in the low post area, block to block, you know, just working around that area, just, you know, being a big, that's, that's my job to work around those areas. So when the point guard gets in the lane and he's, you know, he's getting, gathering two guys, three guys on him to just, you know, creating a havoc, then he can dump the ball off to me. I think it's very important to give the point guard the ability to divert from, um, from the play and allow him that creativity to make a play. I think there's definitely a point in games to, uh, to when to give that freedom and when to make a play and see something and capitalize off of it as opposed to uh, an execution that you need at the end of a game. As a point guard, I always, you know, I think my nature is to pass. I always wanted to create opportunities for my teammates. I wanted to get them easy opportunities so they felt good about themselves. Um, but I also felt like in order to create opportunities for my teammates, I had to be aggressive to score or just put pressure on the defense. And if the defense left me with an opportunity to create a shot, I had to take it. But, you know, in my heart, I, I wish they would open up passing lanes and I can make them pay that way so that I can involve a teammate. You know, you, you definitely have go-to guys on a team, but it's really important to develop a chemistry with those guys so that you know, you're stacking the deck in their favor and your favor by putting them in positions to succeed. As time goes by, basketball will progress and new faces will change the game as we know it. However, one fact will remain certain. Basketball is a team sport. Where there is a successful team, there is a point guard controlling the tempo, communicating effectively with teammates, and creating scoring opportunities. What's the point? Simply the most important position on the team.